Now we will start with the new chapter, structure of atom, right? And before this chapter, we have already covered the entire physical chemistry of class 12th, right? So guys, if you like my video lectures, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you may get the notification because I'll be uploading the entire uh, chemistry of class 11th and 12th, and then I'll be helping you guys with the, uh, with some competitive IIT and NEET questions as well, right? So structure of atom, we are familiar with the structure of atom because we have done atomic structure in our previous class uh, 9th and 10th as well, right? where we studied in detail what is atomic structure, what are subatomic particles, right? how to write electronic configuration and we also know that an atom consists of electrons revolving around and we have a we have a nucleus and inside the nucleus we have uh, positive protons and neutral neutrons, right? We are already familiar with these concepts. Now we will just look into the advanced version of all, all the things that we have studied in class 9th, right? In the structure of atom. And from our junior classes only, we have studied that um, the definition of atom which says that an atom is the smallest particle of any substance. Right, so atom is atom is smallest particle of any substance. Or some definitions also say that atom is the smallest particle of an element. Right, so it's the smallest particle. Right, atom is the smallest particle, and it, since it is smallest, we are saying atom is, if, if there is any substance, say this is this, this pen, right, this marker. And if I keep continue to break this particle, if I keep dividing it, breaking it, then I will reach to the point when I get the smallest particle and I cannot further break that particle into further smaller particle, right. So that smallest particle is your atom, right. And this definition or this idea of atom that it is the smallest particle of any substance was already there in the minds of or in the concepts of early uh, Greeks and early Indians right they are familiar with, with with this definition of atom or with this concept of atom that it's it's that it is the that any substance is made up of the smaller particles right and that smallest particle is the atom right but the actual definition right actual formal definition of atom was given by john dalton in his atomic theory okay? dalton's atomic theory and he stated that atom is atom is the smallest particle of an element which cannot be further subdivided which is indivisible like he said that atom is smallest particle like this definition and it is indivisible Right, and he also gave some other characteristics like atom is hard, right? And atoms atom is spherical in shape. Right? These are hard, these are spherical in shape, and further atoms are he also stated that atoms are structureless. Right? He said that atom is structureless. It does not have any structure. It's just the smallest particle, and it's hard, right? And it does not have any structure. These are the things that was proposed by John Dalton, right? John Dalton, who was a British school teacher, and he proposed this idea of atom in 1808, right? But the research on this atom, on the smallest particle was continued right by some famous researchers scientists shadwick rutherford right and uh, mosley all these scientists continued to do research on this on on the atom right and through various experiments right they were doing all experiments right while trying to study about atom so they said they said that atom is not the smallest particle through their experiments, through their research, they reached to the conclusion that atom is not the smallest particle, but atom consists of 
of further smaller particles right atom consists of further smaller particles which today we know those smaller particles or the subatomic particles of atoms are electrons protons and neutrons right so this idea of atom is indivisible hard spherical this was given by dalton right this was given by dalton and the, this atom atom was taken from the greek word right which means which is a tomio right and this word a tomio means uncuttable if you understand the meaning of this atom you will understand its de its definition you will understand what it is right a tomio means uncuttable or indivisible indivisible which means it cannot be further subdivided or it cannot be further broken down into further smaller particles right this is what atomio means from which the word atom english word atom came right and this definition continued for some time right and later further research is done by scientists proved that atom consists of further smaller particles right atom consists of electrons protons and neutrons right so atoms consist of electrons protons and neutrons right we already are already familiar with these particles from our from our previous classes right and we know that neutrons does not carry any charge neutrons are neutral right and electrons carry negative charge right electrons are negatively charged protons are positively charged and neutrons are neutral right and electron these protons and neutrons are found inside the nucleus right we used to draw the orbital diagrams suppose this is your sodium 281 right so here this is the first shell consists of two electrons this is the second shell that consists of eight electrons right then we have this outermost shell which we call as valence electron valence shell i'm sorry and it has one electron right this is this is the structure of atom right that was given and as per the structure inside the this nucleus this is the nucleus right and inside the nucleus we have protons plus neutrons and it is due to these protons and neutrons right that it is due to these protons and neutrons the mass number of this atom is given right and protons and neutrons are is inside the nucleus and we know protons have positive charge neutrons have neutral charge right so we have positive charge right on this nucleus due to these protons right nucleus is positively charged due to these protons right now from this definition from this definition of dalton right to this point right where scientists discovered that atoms consists of electrons protons and neutrons these discoveries were done using numerous experiments right there was an experiment we will be doing all these experiments in future lectures i will just be just doing a simple introduction in this lecture this right using one experiment right it was proved that it was proved that atom consists of we know that these electrons are revolving around the atom in various shells right these are shells right k l m n and in these shells electrons revolve right so first the electron first electrons were discovered right and we did discharge tube experiments discharge tube experiment right to prove this similarly to prove the presence of proton 
again we do we did a discharge tube experiment right where what we will do is we'll take a we'll take a tube right it has air inside it right and the and the air is evacuated from it we'll be doing that in detail in future lecture right so when you pass electric discharge right there after passing electric discharge though those atoms right the gaseous atoms will dissociate into electrons and the positively charged ions right we know that we know the concept of ionization right if we supply energy equal to ionization energy to sodium atom it will lose and lose its valence electron and will get transformed into positively charged particles which are cations right so discovery of this electron we'll be seeing right through an experiment when electric suppose we have any gas gaseous atom right when you pass electric discharge it will dissociate into it will dissociate into this positive ion right and then it will dissociate into it will lose an electron not dissociate it will lose an electron on passing electric discharge right so you have to prove when it will lose an electron you have to prove this the existence of this electron right and once it will lose electrons it will form these positively charged particles so so through experiment we'll prove the existence of this positively charged particle right we'll be doing these experiments in our future lectures right so once the structure of this atom was known to to scientists right after that they continued their studies right continued their research and wherein they tried to understand why these atoms combine to form molecules right which we will do in chemical bonding right and they tried to find answers to other questions like like what is the origin and nature of electromagnetic radiations right we will be doing this in this chapter and how can we account for the stability of atom we know that atom is stable right like helium atom it's stable how can we account for the stability of that atom all this we would be doing in this chapter right so from this chapter what we concluded is that an atom consists of electrons protons and neutrons right and earlier definition that was given by john dalton that atom is indivisible right hard spherical structureless this was proved proved wrong right this concept was there for some years but later researches proved this definition that atom is the smallest particle right and it is indivisible hard sphere spherical and structureless this was proved wrong because the structure of atom was given right that it consists of electrons protons and neutrons electrons are revolving around right and it has inside this nucleus it has positive protons right all this was was proved so this structure test thing was proved wrong and then he said it is hard or what sometimes it means that the atom we know if you look at this atom is hollow from inside it is not hard right it is not completely solid it's hollow from inside so and there is an experiment that we will be doing alpha particle scattering like rutherford al alpha particle scattering that proved that that proved that this atom is hollow from inside right so in the future video lectures we would be we will continue doing uh, i mean we will continue with the discovery of electrons protons right and rutherford experiment right so we will continue in another lecture in this lecture just remember that atom is the smallest particle and later it was proved wrong right and atom consists of electrons protons neutrons right so we will be doing the definition of i'm sorry we will be doing looking into the discovery of these particles in our future lectures right so guys uh, if you have not subscribed still to my channel please subscribe to the channel because i'll be covering the entire 11th and 12th chemistry and then i'll move on to graduation and post graduation chemistry as well thanks